Well, Sagittarius, welcome. Welcome to your reading um, for April 13th to the 31st. This is your love reading. Um, also, I do want to apologize for the delays. Blame it on the Mega Retrograde. Yes, I am blaming it on the Mega Retrograde. And also, um, I do apologize for those delays. I do have some personal things to attend to. That was why you guys' readings were delayed. So forgive me, my followers. Forgive me. Okay, so let's jump right into your reading. So let's see here. So here you do have the High Priestess. Beautiful card. Beautiful. So I feel like this is either telling you to use your intuition at this time, Sagittarius. Um, you do have the Emperor here. Okay. You do have the Two of Air. You do have the Five of Air. And last but not the least, you guys have the Eight of Earth. Beautiful. Okay, Sagittarius, so let's get into it, shall we? So I feel like you guys are needing to listen to your intuition at this time. Um, be patient with yourself. I also feel like there's someone here who's very moody. <laughs> Make it retrograde. Someone here who's very uh, moody. Um, could be that there's some, this person that you're dealing with, Sagittarius, is very intuitive, um, and they might have psychic abilities, they might be clairvoyant, clairvoyant, um, etc., etc., they might be a seer, a shaman, all that good stuff, okay, but I feel like, um, some of you need to use your intuition. Others of you are need to have patience. Um, also, you guys are needing to um, maybe write down what it is that you want and take action towards those things, okay? I also feel like some of you are dealing with someone who is an Aries. Some of you guys are dealing with an Aries. Someone who likes to be in control. Um... Let me move this here so you guys can see. Someone who likes to be in control. Um, someone who's very structured. Someone who's a leader. Um, you know, someone who uses logic instead of emotions. Um, someone who's stable. Okay, but you don't want to piss this emperor off. You don't not want to piss the emperor off, okay? Okay, so I feel like this person might be your partner um sagittarius um also i feel like you guys might be dealing with more than one person you have earth and you have fire um and you have air so even your card did not show up so we're gonna try and see if your card is going to show up okay so you guys have the healer ages healer of ages i mean Hostilities, okay? Sagittarius. Indecision, okay? Victory, okay? So, I feel like um, there might have been something that happened. Maybe you bickered with someone. You you guys were arguing. Um, someone here was doing the tick for tack game. Um, someone here was not um, being clear with their communication. Um, there was someone that was cut off here. Maybe you cut somebody off, or someone cut might have cut you off. Um, remember, this is a general reading, Sagittarius. Okay, Spirit, give me three cards for Sagittarius. Okay, I feel like someone here was being cut off. Um, there was a tick for tack. Um, you guys were arguing. Okay, there was a lot of arguments here. Um, between you and your partner, between someone you could have been dealing with. And this person could have been an air sign. 
individual and i feel like you guys are looking at how much time here you guys have put into the relationship how much time you've invested in this relationship um you're looking at details of the relationship or maybe learning about each other or uh, um for others of you i feel like you're learning some new skills that is going to bring you to success or bring you to gain gain some rewards um, maybe some of you are going back to school. Um, maybe some of you are doing research on a topic, a subject. Or uh, maybe there's a new endeavor, a creative new endeavor that you've come across that you're learning about. Okay. And I feel like, um, Sagittarius, you guys are going through some healing times right now. Um, this is speaking in terms of your spirituality. Um, where spirits are helping your father and help heaven is helping you. Um, your angels are helping you. They're guiding you through this. Um, even though you just came from, you just went through some hostilities. Maybe it could have been with your partner. It could have been with a friend. It could have been with a family member. Um, there was some arguments, some bickering going on. Um, that you had, you felt like you needed to protect yourself and guard yourself. Maybe it, it was this person that you're dealing with, the emperor, that you felt like you needed to protect yourself. Spirit scheme is like kitchen card on hostilities. And I feel like, um, Sagittarius, you guys are not being decisive at this time. Um, it showed up twice. And you know what's so crazy? It showed up right under each other. Okay, so you have the two of air here. And then you have the indec indecision card. <laughs> Okay, and it's right underneath each other. So I feel like you guys are feeling stuck right now. Um, you're unable or you're unable to make a decision or you're willing you're unwilling not to make a decision. Um, it could have been someone that is of a stalemate. Uh, maybe you're dealing with someone that's a stalemate. Um someone pretending that there's no problem, or you could be pretending like there's no problem. Or you could be feeling stuck, stuck or feeling conflicted or confused because of this decision that you have to make. But I feel like you guys are going to come out of that because there's victory in the end. Um, the victory card reminds me of the justice card um, where I feel like good karma is going to be coming in. Um, for you guys, Aries, um, Sagittarius, I mean, I'm sorry. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with the Aries. I said that earlier. Um, I feel like you guys will be victorious. Whatever it is that you guys are battling, whatever it is that you guys are going through. Um, I feel like in the end, you guys are going to come out of that, make the decision and come out victorious. Okay. Come out on top because I do see you learning something new here. Okay. Let's see what came out. So this card came out twice, so I have to take, I have to pay attention to it, okay? So I feel like some of you guys are joining forces, maybe with your partner, opening a business with your partner. Um, maybe, um, I know this is a love reading, but when it comes, if, if I see business, if I see these messages, I have to speak on it. And I feel like some of you guys are waiting to hear news from someone that lives a distant Um Hmm, interesting. I feel like you guys are waiting on someone to, to get a news from someone that lives a distance. Um, when pertaining to business, I feel like there's someone that you guys have um, a partnership in with. There's someone that you guys are going to come together and partner in business. And I feel like you guys have already planted your seed and you're waiting for the prop profits to come in. Others of you, I feel like um, you're looking at how much time you've invested in this partnership with your partner. Those of you that are in a relationship, you're looking at how much time you've invested in this. So I don't know if you guys are thinking about work walking away or you guys have already decided um, to walk away um, or you guys are divorcing um, or separated, whatever the case might be. Um, but I feel like um, some of you might be in a partnership where uh, maybe you guys um are waiting for the other person to reach out and communicate <laughs> maybe you guys are waiting for this person to come in and communicate you might be dealing with an earth sign taurus taurus capricorn virgo you might also be dealing with an aries you might also be dealing with a libra aquarius gemini okay and there go the emperor going again showing up again so 
I feel like some of you might have this in your chart. This energy is showing up double times. So I feel like um, maybe some of you guys need to let go of control or your partner needs to let go of control. I feel like there's someone here who loves to be in control. Um, someone who is a boss, someone that owns their own business, um, someone who is a leader, um, could be your boss at work that you guys are partnershiping with. Um, could be someone at your job. Maybe your j boss is someone that you're romantically interested in or um, you're interested in um, pursuing whatever it is you want to pursue with them. Um, but I feel like there's two people. Fire signs are dealing with more than one person here. So again, Mercury Retrograde is present. Um, they're going to be bringing in excess from the past. So you need to be mindful of that and be aware. I'm not telling you to put your guard up. But be aware that Mercury Retrograde is returning excess from the past. So I see fire, I see air, and I see earth. Okay? Let me get a clarification. On the hill of ages. You guys need that needed um healing from someone that was toxic.